trailer made trailer. It's a 30 foot trailer by standard eight and a half foot wide and uh, it's engineered by Volstra steel framing. So the framing is steel and designed by the industrial designer. Um, I've got about, it is a three and a half inch wall but we have about six and a half inches of insulated and sided uh, paneling. So, this thing is tested to negative 20 degrees up here in Leadville, Colorado. Uh, we're up at 10,000 feet, so uh, it is high quality build. Um, so I just want to show you a few things. This is the utilities area in the front on the top of the trailer. So this is a propane tank hookup. If you're settled in a permanent spot, you can just hook up with a uh, larger propane tank and just uh, bypass it. All right, and on this side, we've got our hot water heater. It's an on-demand Renai uh, propane, um, very high quality. Makes really nice hot water. Okay, and on the driver's side of the trailer, we wanted to make it really easy if you have to pull into campgrounds. So RV standards is everything on the driver's side for utilities. So you've got our water hookup here. Um, just pretty much a standard 5 in, 8 inch water hose hiccup. You can also do a, a tank fill, which I'll show you on the inside. And then we've got our power as well. So we've got a, a 50 amp uh, RV hookup. You can reduce it down to 30 amp if you need to. Some campgrounds don't have 50 amp. And everything inside is pretty efficiently run. So, um, And then on the back of the trailer, we've got our mini split condenser unit. Um, this is made by Green. It's about a 27 and a half sear rating mini split, so very efficient heating and air conditioning. Uh, so now let's go inside check it out. Hi guys, welcome to our wandering cabin. This is the tiny home that uh, my husband and I built. Um, a couple years ago on my parents farm in Ohio so I was truly a labor of love we spent a lot of time and a lot of hard work uh, truly blood sweat and tears went into the build of this and then we lived in it for a couple years traveled um, and now we have um, a little five-month-old baby and are ready to move on it just got a little cramped with the dog and the baby um, but I'll talk to you a lot about everything in the house um, but first and foremost, um, you'll notice so it's a log cabin structure. Um, it's incredibly well insulated. There's thick siding on it. So this house was built for extreme climates. Of course, you can take it wherever you want it, but um, we had intentions of going to Alaska to visit my brother. We wanted to spend a lot of time in the mountains. So this was built to be incredibly comfortable and incredibly efficient, no matter what climate that you're in. So um, let's get started and I'll show you around. So we'll take a look at the kitchen first. Um, this, we wanted to use the longest side of the trailer, the length of the trailer for the space that you're in the most. So uh, our kitchen and living area is along the long wall, the, the long wall of the trailer. Uh, we have a, um, a four burner stove. Uh, so you're not sacrificing any um, space here. This, um, we cooked all kinds of large meals on the stove. Really nice uh, range hood that has a light on it. Um, and then we also have cement board behind the stove um, to protect it for the, protect the walls from the heat. And then the backsplash is also rated for high heat and for traveling. Um, it's a um, adhesive based product. So this is not gonna crack when you travel. This is our living room, probably my favorite place in the house. So 
Um, the couch is huge. There's plenty of room to sit back and prop your feet up. We sat here every morning and looked at the mountains. We had tea. Um, our dog would snuggle up with us. Um, and this actually is not just a couch. This provides an incredible amount of storage. So on both sides, this uh, opens up and there's tons of storage on this side. We kept all of our dog food, extra paint, Christmas decorations in there. And then this uh, huge side, actually, um, I'll show you this as well. We had a fresh water tank in here for a little while, and then we needed to take that out because we wanted space for, well, we didn't need it because uh, we were always hooked up, but we wanted space for um, suitcases and um, off-season clothing and coats. Um, we just wanted the extra space, so, um, so that's what we ended up using that for. Tons of space. you guys there's um, ambient we're not going to turn it on for the video because it looks kind of funny but there's LED ambient lighting around the entire house and through every one of these um, metal structures up here so it's really really nice you can um, all the lighting in the house is dimmable so when this is on it just creates the most beautiful glow um, you'll see it in some of the pictures but um, it just creates you know a nice different little uh, elements that's a little bit more romantic so if you end up using this as an Airbnb for um, a romantic getaway or something the lighting really adds a special touch so Ryan you want to take them up and show them the So you'll notice there's actually quite a lot of counter space in here. We wanted to be able to cook and prep meals, but we also have this uh, fold out space that gives you a ton more counter space. Um, and it also, um, this was, <laughs> we use this for everything. So we did our laundry here. I folded laundry. Uh, we ate dinner here. This was actually my office space and this was Ryan's office space. We worked here together. We both work remotely and we're able to work from home comfortably. There are um, a lot of outlets down here. So if you need to plug in a computer, iPad, um, chargers, and then whatever. let me show you the chair. So this is a beautiful piece of walnut reclaimed that we stained um, again with natural oils. And this is um, just not only comfortable, but it's, you'll see there's double hinges over here. So it's going to, it's going to hold a lot of weight. Um, Ryan and I both sat here uh, every single day, multiple times throughout the day. This thing does not budge. So, um, so really comfortable. This is how you sit here. Um, and then it's nice because it gets up and out of the way. Um, This is our double, double slipper tub. I think it's what, 63 inches or so. Um, it fits two people very comfortably. We did not want to give up our bathtub. So uh, we splurged on this again. It's a stone resin tub. It's thin, it's durable, it's, it's just beautiful. It's really easy to clean. Copper piping. Uh, so we have custom copper piping all around the shower and we also have a beautiful rain shower head at the top. So you can shower, you can bathe, um, and then the faucet here um, that will show you. It's so, it's, so the vanity here, um, this is a reclaimed, we got this at an antique um, or salvage yard, I think, but it's, it's metal. It's uh, huge on the inside, so you have tons and tons of storage in there. Um, and then we use the same butcher block from the kitchen for the bathroom countertop. And same kind of concept as the kitchen. We wanted some extra counter space, but we wanted it out of the way if we were taking a bath. So, um, so I'll show you. This just um, folds down. 
and then uh, when you're taking a bath and then folds right back up. So I'll show you again. It's just, you clip these, fold it down, super easy, and then fold it back up. We have a stone resin sink, just like the bathtub and a really high end. I think this is a Vigo or did I pronounce that correctly? This is um, a really nice um, faucet. Um, so we didn't, you know, skimp on the appliances. Uh, everything is very high end. And then we have this really cool mirror um, that has LED lighting all around it. So you have really, really nice lighting. But honestly, the windows in here provide so much light. I don't even think I used it very often. And last but not least, our awesome closet. Um, so again, we wanted to we wanted this house to really function like a home, um, not like an RV. So we have tons of space up here. We used to have all of our clothes um, hanging up here, all of our hanging clothes, and then we changed it and turned it into a baby um, changing table area. This actually slides out, which is nice. Um, so this is multifunctional, but the coolest thing about this whole space is these amazing, enormous drawers. So um, Ryan had a small drawer and a large drawer. I had a small drawer and a large drawer, but these are just huge. You can fit um, so much stuff. We had everything, our, our winter clothes, our summer clothes, um, everything was able to fit in here. So um, it's difficult to show you on screen, but these drawers are enormous, so you're going to be able to fit all of your belongings in here without sacrificing anything. And then come and follow me with, oh, the master lock. Let's show you that. So guys, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I can't think of anything that we missed, but... You can always contact us, ask us any questions. We love this home so, so much. Um, we are moving on to a different phase of life, but um, I cannot wait for someone else to enjoy this tiny house. We have, um, uh, we have a deck already planned out, so there's steel already prepared. All you have to do is set it up. Um, we wanted to maximize the outdoor space. We never got a chance to use it, but I hope you, you do. Bye.